Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we'll be looking at question 303, range sum query immutable. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using a new um, array. Um, and in this new array, we'll keep a track of the sum of the elements that we have seen so far. Um, so it's a pretty simple uh, problem, so let's get uh, right into it. Um, and then in this case, it'll be sum would be equal to nums um, yeah, so sums, uh, sums would be equal to new end of nums.length. Right, and then <coughs> uh, we iterate through all of the elements in the nums array. Uh, nums.length, uh, increment i. So sums would be equal, sums of i uh, would be equal to um, nums of i plus uh, nums of i, uh, sum, sum of i minus one. So basically what we're doing is that we're keeping the sums area to keep a track of <clears throat> all of the, um, some of the elements that we've seen previously. And the only um, uh, base case that we need to take care of is like sum of zero uh, would be equal to nums of zero. And then we can get into the for loop with um, one. Um, so since if you're looking back, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, I think this should be fine. And here it's really simple. So if uh, left is greater than uh, greater than zero, what we need to do is we need to return um, return sum of right minus sum of left minus one. So what since it is um, it is a cumulative sum, we take everything till right, and then we need to subtract everything that's before the left element. Um, so that's the reason why we can just subtract and return it. But it has to be in cases where left is greater than zero, because if it is zero, going back to minus one is an invalid. Um, uh, index. So if left is equal to zero, you would just return sum of right. So basically it means return everything to me from the start to the end. So you just return sum of right. Awesome. So let's try compiling this. The first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. So let's talk about the space and the time complexity. The time complexity of the entire solution is O of 1 since we have already computed um, the sum that we need to and so this will just take constant time. So of 1, the space complexity however is O of n since we are using um, uh, a completely new data structure to store the sum of all the elements that we've seen so far. Awesome, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace!